Hello out there and welcome to this video where we are going to apply the observer design pattern that you probably saw in class uh, to the traffic light example that you probably also saw in class. So this is the structure of our uh, observer design pattern in its current version that we are going to apply to the traffic light. So my concrete subject here will be the traffic light and my concrete listener will be my car or my taxi or whatever. So I'm going to need the two interfaces, the subject and the listener. And I'm going to expand my traffic light with a private list of listeners and this update listeners method. So that is the plan. And let's swap to IntelliJ. Here we go. And I already have a few of the classes. So the car doesn't do much. There's just a, a name and a constructor. I have a taxi too, which is basically the same, and we're going to implement their behavior later on. I have a traffic light, which is going to um, oh, I missed another one here, yellow. Right, so this is the behavior of my traffic light. Um, I might call this a light index instead to make it more obvious what's actually going on. So when I start the traffic light, uh, initially here because of the constructor, the current light will be 0, 1, 2, red. And then we're going to loop and sleep for one second. We're going to update the light index modulo 4 because now I have 4. So the light index will go um, 0, 1, 2, 3 and then back to 0, 1, 2, 3 because of the modulo operator here. We update the current light to be the well the light at this index and then we print out what the light is so this is where my event has happened my my data has changed and this is where we want to fire the event um it's going to delete that part so uh, we first want to make this into a subject which means that let me just find this again I need the subject interface with the two methods, which must then be implemented down here. So let's start there. Um, now, before we get to that, let's just run the example. I have uh, to see what's going on. I have my traffic light. I have three cars. Uh, I can add a taxi later on. And if I um, run it, we call the start method. And then we should just see something printed out over a couple of seconds. All right, light is yellow, green, yellow, red yellow, green, yellow, red, and so on. Um, but no, none of the cars are reacting because we don't have the observer um, pattern in place. So let's just get to that. I need my um, interface for the subject. Create a new class and select that to be an interface and we call it subject. There we go. I also need the, yes, I want to add to Git. So I'm putting all this on GitHub so I can hopefully easier see it find it, look at the code yourself afterwards. And I also want the listener interface. And I want to add. Um, so the listener interface is going to have the update method. I'm going to follow the, uh, the diagram from the slide. So here we just say, I'm giving it an object. So to use the, the general approach, I could have put a string here, but then I cannot really reuse the interface. So I'm using the object here to follow the, uh, the, um, the diagram, right? Here it takes an object so we can reuse the interfaces. I then have to cast the object down here, but we will, we will manage that, I'm sure. So that's the uh, listener interface. And then for the subject, we have two methods. One is add listener. It takes a listener, I just call it like that. And we can also remove a listener like that. So this is the functionality that the subject must provide. And we want to implement this in my traffic light. Implement subject like that. And we want to implement the methods, both of them, so they come down here. 
All right, so this is where I want to add a listener to my private list of listeners. So let's just create that list of listener. Listeners. Listeners, like that. And I want to import the list equals new, whatever, we take an array list, that's fine. I could initialize this in the constructor, it doesn't really matter. So here we just say listeners, add listener and down here we say listeners remove listener like that all right so now i can add and remove listeners to my subject i then need the notification uh, method private void update listeners and this one also takes an object argument come on there we go and i just want to iterate through my list of listeners like this all right so each for each of my listener in the list of listeners we call the update method with the argument so this is where the event firing is taking place and i want to do that after the change of data here so we just say update listeners with my current light like so and that's all i need to do for my uh, traffic light to become a subject now we can go back here and say that the cars i can actually add them so we say traffic light add listener c1 and i also want to add c2 and c3 so it's complaining here because the car do not yet implement the listener interface so in order for the car to become a listener, we need to implement the interface. So let's just do that. Implement listener, like that. And we want to implement the method, the update method. And this is where I put the behavior of the car. car. Um, whenever the light changes, this is where we want the behavior of the car to, to be. And I'm just going to steal that. Um, from somewhere else because we have it in the slides you have seen it and just like this um, oh sorry hang on okay here we go I found the correct piece of code so this is what I want to happen for my car we first uh, get the argument which is of type object so I have to cast it to a string and I, I know we get a string here um, so I check if the string that we get equals green from my traffic light, from my current light, which can be green, yellow, red, or yellow. If it's green, then we print out that the car drives. If it's yellow, then we check whether the previous value was red or yellow. No, red or green. And then we either slow down or we turn the engine on. And if it's red, then we stop. And then I store the previous value so we can keep track of what the light was before. So this is how we um, make the car into a listener. So let's just check out my main method again. So now it's no longer, longer, no longer complaining. I can add my um, cars as a listener. And if I run the program again, here we go. The light is yellow, so the car slows down. Green, it drives. Red, it stops. So on. And it goes on for, for 10 seconds. So if I just uh, quickly want to do the taxi as well, we have to do something similar. It must implement the listener interface. That uh, means we have to implement the method. So this is where the taxi behavior goes into. And we're going to steal that from the car, but it's going to be slightly different because the taxi does not care about the yellow light. So if it's yellow, then we just move that part. And my taxi here has a name instead of an ID, apparently. So green taxi drives super fast and uh, red, the taxi stops with uh, screeching tires reaching tires like this so now my taxi is also a listener and we have the functionality of or the reaction to the 
change in light that happens in, inside the update method here that we inherit from the listener interface. So let's just go here and create a taxi. T1 equals new taxi. Uh, and we call it T1 and like that. And then we also want to add the taxi as a listener T1. And there we go. And I try and run my program again. And hopefully we should see that the taxi reacts to the green and red lights. Let's just move this one up a bit. So no taxi, but here the taxi drives super fast and the red stops with screeching tires and so on. So the taxi is also listening to the events of the traffic light, but it only cares about some of the events and only reacts to some of the events. So this concludes the um, first part. Um, I'm also going to put the more advanced version in here so you can have that as well this is from the from the other video um, so this is what will use Java's uh, existing version of the observer design pattern that's going to be in the other package here so you can find this on in the same github repository so um, this is the end of the video thanks for watching